What's good, y'all? Welcome to MinMax's new show, Plus, where we're going to be playing the cat game, showing off our cats. Also, I have a cat here, which I don't know if she's still in the room or not. So yeah, there's that. Is the most important part of Love Cats is that you I have know. a cat on the camera. The thing is, she doesn't love moving is the thing. And I brought her in here and I put some treats on the floor. But she yeah. ate those treats and she's since left. So I'm going to I'm going to get up for a couple seconds. I'm going to bring my cat out right. and Ben's going to explain uh, what Stray is and yep. uh, what we're here to do today. That's right. We're checking out Stray, uh, but this is Love Cats, which is a new show from MinMax. Thanks to you voting on it, because each and every week for New Show Plus, we let supporters of the $10 tier over there on Patreon, otherwise known as the Backstage Pass tier. They get to vote every week for which new show we create or continue. And this week they said, enough with the houses. Give us some house cats, eh? Uh, so we've abandoned House Hunter Rise Sunbreak, and the new show is now called Love Cats. And for the first episode, we're going to be playing Stray, which is a new game published by Annapurna. Um, Janet has been playing a lot of it. We're going to be starting a new game here. Um, and for future episodes, if you all vote for it for Love Cats, um, we'll have to get creative. Because I, I guess we could jump around to different cat games, but I feel like it'd be more fun if like next week we can get Leo in here and he could show off his cats, all that good stuff. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Love Cats is starting out the way it should, which is with a cat. Okay, show this is Bruce. She looks like so, she don't got a lot of energy here, but this is Bruce. Does she, she ever looks... have energy? No, she's um she's a little bit of a fussy baby. Um, okay. She definitely would not have survived in this game Ooh. at all. Interesting. Um, Bruce doesn't do a lot is a thing. I'm gonna feed her some treats because uh, this is her payment for being on the shows. So I give her snacks. But yeah, she's very she's very chill though. She's um, not very antagonistic. Um, she doesn't like really like scratch or bite a whole lot. Um, yeah. Yeah, but she sleeps a lot. She I I couldn't find her, and I was even like shaking this treat bag, and she like didn't appear. And it's um, because she was sitting on a chair. She loves sitting on chairs. So she'll be like on our dining chairs or on like my stream chairs. Okay. Uh, but this is Bruce. She is, oh, I think she's like three years old, maybe something like that. Um, Isaiah got her from a shelter before he uh, moved out to San Francisco and like met me and everything. So Bruce predates me, um, but she's cool. She's got a little collar. She's got, I think, a, a tracking chip inside her from when she was in the shelter. And I just found out her real name initially from the shelter was gravel which is like that's just so cool. ugly <laughs> just oh really so... i like that as a cat no. name. I think that's cool. oh also people always ask like why she's called bruce because bruce is kind of traditionally by bruce um a here some extra treats maybe you're hanging out um uh, like a boy cat name but when yeah. isaiah got her they were like this cat is a boy fill out this paperwork and isaiah's like cool i'm gonna call her bruce be i'm gonna call this this cat bruce because of Bruce Wayne, and she was like a her fur was a lot darker when he first got her, right, but black is a thing. then he like picked her up and was like, um, "Yeah, this is a girl. This is a girl cat, <laughs> definitely a girl cat." A yeah, um, and he's like, "Well, I already put Bruce down the form, so like we'll just stick with Bruce." And and then she her Good. fur lightened over time, so now nothing about her name is true anymore. But I like it. It's fun. It's a fun time. It's good. It's a good lesson. Uh, we're, we could stop Bruce, but there's more cats that we could show off because in the Minox community, it turns out there's a lot of cats and everybody's eager to show off a cat. So we do have some other cat options and Janet, you're running this show. Whenever you want, we can jump over and show off some more cats from the community. Thank you, Procyon number six for the big sub on Twitch. Appreciate it. Whew. Uh, yeah. Janet, you've been playing a lot of this game? Yeah, I beat this game, um, nice. but we're at the beginning, so spoilers, the game does end, you can't beat it, uh, which I did, I, I read a review for my outlet, Pen of Pixels, um, and I like it, I like it quite a bit, I think it does a great job at capturing that, the fantasy of being a cat, um, like the power fantasy of being a cat, and it, I think all of the design choices they make, while like, you know, I think they've caught, like, not a lot of flack, but the main criticism of this game is like, oh, it's kind of like super straightforward and the puzzles are like a little basic, but I think all of it is in service to creating that, like to giving you cool stuff to do as a cat and making that stuff meaningful. So I think they were really successful in what they tried to do here. So I, I vibe with this game really hard, but Ben, what uh, is your, what are your feelings on Stray and what, do you, have you had a cat before? <laughs> 
Thank you for asking, Janet. First of all, uh, thank you to Kanufu for the big sub on Twitch. Um, first of all, this, I haven't seen the game in action. I haven't touched it yet. These animations are stellar. Mm -hmm. I guess that's kind of like, hey, priority number one, nail these cat animations in the opening, but this feels like a real gosh darn cat. Like up until this point, I think the best cat animations are Last Guardian. Uh, so like this is looking pretty damn impressive here. I think this looks great. Um, um, I'm gonna jump to oh. Oh, okay. uh, some community cats real fast, if that's cool. Yeah, okay. That sounds good. Yeah, what were, what were you gonna say? What were you gonna do? I was gonna say, I don't currently have a cat. I'm allergic to cats and dogs and anything with fur, which is fun. Um, but we had a couple of cats growing up. Uh, Poker and Bangles were my Cute. two sweet kitty cats. Outdoor cats. Um, but they were, they were the best. They were cool. All right, let's start with, um, I think I'll do it based on, honestly, just random vibes, but also like maybe subs and follows just as a way to kind of add some level of structure. But we'll get through all these regardless of, you know, how many subs or, or follows we get. But just sure. kind of a, a way to make it like, well, when's the next one going to appear? Kind of like, um, some would say it's almost like a Hail Mary, Ben. I don't know, but... I'm familiar with that concept. So wait, you're saying you're going to show a cat for every sub? Is that the structure here? Yeah, but I will get through all the cats regardless because I, I don't want to pay all the cats, you know. Um, and we'll just go per person. So let's, let's start with Neil Smith, who has uh, Sasha over here. Just letting up on screen. This is one big mm. cat. I'm a yeah, big fan you... of the multicolor for cats. This is good. I like the... Um... Yeah. With dogs, you say that's a good dog, right? Do you say good cat? It feels weird. I say whatever comes to my mind and my heart with the cats. Okay. Yeah, I like the confusing angle on... Uh, what's the cat's name? The cat's name is Sasha. This is Neil Sasha. Smith's cat, Sasha. That's good. That's good. It looks like a playful cat. And I do like a cat where you you can spend a lot of time thinking about the color patterns. It's like a Rorschach test on that kitty cat. That, that's a good look. I like that you can't see where its other leg is. That happens a lot with my cat, where she just kind of um, curls around. I'm also excited to see, or I'm hopeful to see from the community. I haven't looked through all these photos yet, but I'd like to see some good loafs. You know, I, there's a low, the loaf rating, but I don't know if you're familiar, but like no. a 10 out of 10 loaf cat, no tail, no paws. That's a 10 out of 10 loaf, when it's just a little hmm. circle. Right, so we'll see if we right. see some loafs yeah. today. Um, logo. Yeah, Moon Garbage in the chat says, you say, hee hee, stinky, when it's a good cat. Oh. Um, I call okay. Bruce a lot of things, um, but yeah, love a circle. All right. Um, we yeah, uh, dumb question. Yes. Cats. Yes. We know them, we love them. Um, we're going to look at another one from Neil Smith. Um, dogs come from wolves. Cats come from some other animal in particular. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a. Cats. I'm not a. Um, I was funny. I was, the first thought that came to my mind was Scientologist. That's a totally different thing. So. <laughs> they also um, love cats. Yeah, I do live in LA, but I'm not a Scientologist. <laughs> um, I don't know offhand. So, yeah, Isn't that y'all have. Thing that we don't know. It would be if we had a job that made us be smarter and more things. I feel like we're really good at the thing we do, and we have not well, a lot of thoughts beautiful. for the thing outside the thing we do. Okay, look, I'm gonna research the science. I'm gonna become a Scientologist. You're gonna uh, show off these cats and show their names, please, thank yeah, you. Yeah, this is uh, Neil Smith's second cat, or other cat, uh, Stieglitz? Stieglitz? I might be butchering that, Stieglitz? but I love the, um, another multicolored cat, and yeah, I like that it's, it's looking up at you. That's now, nice. Dan, do you are you not a fan of this picture though because it's bordering into your favorite territory, which is foot talk? I don't mind it. It would have been. Okay. I think it's always good though if you are sharing a photo on the internet that you do not have your feet visible. Your that, feet. That's help. just something that I think would be good for people to do. But hey, um, if you don't care, I don't care. Like I wouldn't do it, but you know, right. to each their own. Um, <laughs> Velociraptors became cats. I don't think that's true. I think I actually, it. I'm researching it. it. It does say that it's true. I'm on Scientology.com, and it's really saying it in a big yeah, way. Yeah, one of um, right. one of Ben's go-tos. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll uh, I'll put some timers. We'll, whether the timer goes off or a sub comes through, we'll show off some more cats in the the coming minutes here. But um, yeah, this is the opening of Stray. You're here, and you got your cat family. So these these are your buddies. Mm -hmm. And so this is okay. I'm not gonna. 
jump to any conclusions, but I think I know the setting of this game, and so I'm not feeling great about what's going to be yeah, happening. Yeah, you know, that is that the the existence of knowing what the game is <laughs> is a spoiler for this opening scene. It's kind of like right. when you start The Last of Us 1, and you're like, I don't know this yeah. girl. She yep. ain't on the cover of the box. Yep, exactly. Uh, by the way, fun fact, Janet. Okay, apparently, uh, these, these cats, uh, the domestic cat, is one of the most recently evolved species within the Felidae family. The Felidae family has split into three genera, which people normally call me genera. I don't know, is that a joke? Okay, so we got the Panthera family, which is very cool. That's lions, tigers, leopards, snow leopards, clouded leopards, jaguars. The Asinonyx family, which is the cheetah, apparently just stands by itself. And then the Felis category, which is all the other small cats. So I guess they all have the same ancestor, but then branched out. So it's not like cats are descended from lions or anything that clearly. Okay. Just in case you're curious. You know, curiosity uh, killed the cat. No. Will I? Um, will I like this game, Janet? I, I like. Um, mm. I like a good simple game, and if the puzzles aren't hard, then I'm I'm gonna come a crawling. I think you'll like it, all right. I don't think you'll be in love with it. Okay. I, think you, I think you'll like it. Also, I love this opening, these little splashes from this language, because it reminds me of Jack and Dexter. <laughs> like the precursor language. Like it looks right. similar. Yeah. I so like there you it. go. It's, um, oof. It's kind of got some Tokyo Jungle vibes here. I don't know if you played that on PS3, Jan. I actually did play Tokyo Jungle. I played it via PS Now, ripped to PS Now. Um, and that game slaps. I love that game. Um, Very good. Yeah, I want to I finish it, because... I was I booted it up and I'm like, what else is there to want from a game? Like I played that. Um, what was it called? The Last Man Standing or something? I don't know. There's like a game where you play as like a little guy and you're like hoarding. You're like running around. It's like a top down, and you're like collecting other people. Ah, oh, I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna say it is PS3. It's either PS3 or PS2. It's old. Um, I have no oh. idea what game this is, but if anyone knows what I'm trying to describe, let me but know. What is, what is this? How does this relate to Tokyo Jungle? Because it's on, it was in that same kind of collection of like okay. weird play, weird old PlayStation games, and it's circled to meow. Someone said, "Press X to meow." So let me the see if I can change the settings because it comes out of my controller right now. So, Ooh. is it the last guy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. They don't let me change that. I wish they did, um, especially for streaming. I, I like when you can, because um, here you can just kind of hear it from the speaker of the controller, but not the. I don't think the game as much, but. Uh, how long is this there game? Um, it took me six and a half hours to beat. Uh, I know a lot of reviewers that beat Love it in it. five hours. Uh, Annapurna says that it's an eight hour game, 10 hour completionist, but I do think it skews a little bit lower than that eight based on sure. you know, what, how long it took me and other people to beat it. Janet, I've been meaning to ask you, what's the worst part of owning a cat? Um, the worst part of owning a cat is probably when it like uh, gets sick or like misbehaves in some way like but when my cat like throws up somewhere that's not a good day of owning a cat right, um, right. yeah that, that's kind of the only like rough part um admittedly i don't do a lot of the litter stuff that's isaiah's bag so um yeah but we also have um we have an automatic like litter box thing we have like the litter robot and we also have an automatic feeder so we've we've tried to minimize a lot of the less enjoyable parts of having a cat by just buying out the problem yeah you're living in some crazy sci-fi future yeah robot like bruce is raising your cat bruce is already ready for this cyberpunk world she is spoiled uh shazira thanks for the big sub on twitch i think that hey. means it's time to see some cats yeah let's look at, let's look at some more cats all right, let's jump to um, Evan One Sonic, who says "rip to Sam slash Sammy." So this is a uh, a what is the word for it? It's not belated. It's a cat that passed. Yes, a cat that there's a word for when someone's passed on, but this is that. Really, really eloquent this morning here. If, I don't know. Um, this is Sammy. I love the the bleep, the little blip, the little like tongue. The bleep. Wait, that's called a bleep, a blip, a, what? Like a blip or a bleep or a blorp is what people have referred to it as. A little What? The and late great Sammy. Thank you, Rich Bad Game Bad Games. Wow. You've never heard of that? Of a little a Yeah, blep. the blep. I've never heard of this before in my life. 
this is a new word for me at age 35. A yeah, blep. blep is the thing that cats do when they're trying to investigate a new scent and become suddenly distracted, leaving their tongues out. It's so cute. <laughs> it is cute. I love a good blep um, or a bleep. I like the fur here, very textured fur. Um, and I like the slightly, I don't know if this cat always looked like this, but the slightly like derped eyes. Um, my cat derp, does that sometimes yeah. too, where like one eye is kind of closing and it's like she's winking and she looks yeah. like a little bit, a little, like there's no thought behind her eyes. And I, I appreciate that. So yeah, beautiful, go. beautiful cat. Uh, let's do, let's do one more since, you know, Neil had two. So we'll just, we'll do, we'll, we're playing by ear. We're playing fast and loose with this. This is a big fluffy belly. This is Kyle Coltrane's cat, um, or rather this is, uh, what might be the Gmail account. It says Tom and dot gif slash Emma. I'm not sure like where, who is what there? I assume Emma's the cat name and the other one's no, the username Tom and of the person. Griff, I think is the cat's name, I believe. Really? And then Emma's the, but then the account's Kyle. There's a lot of names floating around here. This the is cat, cat. will respond to any of them. We know that. Yeah, the which I'd love to know in the chat if you guys have a cat. What do you actually? What's your cat's name, and then what do you call your cat? Because my cat's name hmm. is Bruce, but we often call her um, Mama. We call her uh, Maggie. Calls her uh, Cutie. Um, what else? Probably just other just things that come to mind when I'm seeing her. Um, I love it. This cat. Yeah. Um, it looks great. I want to touch that tummy. It automatically stresses me out. It reminds me of like a friend of mine, uh, best friend Ronnie. Uh, he's been on some Minmax stuff. Every cat he's ever had has looked like this. And so I always just associate it with like spending the night at his house in middle school and then waking up and just like, I just like, couldn't breathe. From oh, no. It's so just been... like nothing but just fur just falling off this type of cat, but it looks great. So you've been allergic to cats like forever then? Forever. It was, yeah, I, ever since I fell out of that window in New York City and then cats licked me back to life. That's my origin story for my allergies, I think. That's why you can't go to the theater anymore. Um, happens right. to all of us. There's, we all have that, that one thing that stopped us from going back to the theater. Um, mm -hmm. But there you go. That's one good cat. I like the, um, that it looks kind of like a rug. I like when cats look kind of like pieces of furniture. Um, my cat yeah. also often splays out and she looks like a little throw rug. Um, and this cat also looks like it's, it would appreciate belly scratches. My cat doesn't really like mm. having her stomach touched um, or her body touched. Like she likes having her head scratched. That's kind of it. Sometimes if she knows you more, you can get away with other parts of her. But I always tell people that and people always try to like, you know, pet her the way you would assume you'd pet a cat where you go from, you can go like in the middle. I'm like, don't, sh don't, don't touch your body. Just only touch your head. And people always try. And then sure enough, she turns around. I'm like, she's about to like, run up on you like she like she doesn't you know um hey another sub we'll look at another cat um thank you uh a serious man a serious oh, man yeah, serious. um we'll look at matthew w's fernad fernanad black and white and milo who is orange let's take a look at these cats oh my gosh look they're best friends i want a second cat so yeah. bad but Ooh, i feel like good. i feel like it'd be really hard to like it's like a big process of introducing another cat to another cat. And then Isaiah's like, look, I really want this one cat. We're not getting a second cat. Like, I feel like the odds are higher that they'll get along more than like two dogs, right? I, I mean, how, how much of a dick could a cat really be? Oh, cats can be really intense. And also cats are really territorial. And it also takes a while yeah. to just like acclimate them to things. Like when we changed my cat's litter box, she didn't use the bathroom for like several days. Like mm. until she just and did it on the floor, and then that was a whole that was a whole scene. But yeah, cats or like I I thought I had a, a carbon monoxide scare a few months ago, so I like got everyone out of the house and I got my cat quickly out of the house because we were worried about like everyone dying from the carbon monoxide that I thought was going sure. off. And um, she starts crying immediately, and I, like I'm just holding her, and she just like pees like because she's freaked out by everything. Well, and the layout kind of broke because my projector source went away or my shared screen went away or something give me a second yeah this sounds like a hassle to have these cats janet yeah i don't um and there can there can be a lot if you if you uh, aim up the bad times there's quite a few of them yeah i like um i like milo there on the right it's a mm -hmm. nice milo notice reference i would imagine and ferdinand here on the left i like everything about the attitude but that weird hitler stash if it, can you can you like bleach it or something? You gotta fix it. It's distracting. It's a weird I feel spot. like that's not that's not fair. That's like how that's their that's his that's his face. That's his okay. little face. 
You gotta Milo be nice to, what is it? It's Milo and who's the other one? Ferdinand. And Ferdinand, yeah. They're, they're buddies. They're buddies on the blanket. It's cute. It's they cute times. Cute. All right, we'll, now, we'll jump back to... Matthew also has another cat called Violet, and I'm curious why Violet wasn't included Ooh. in that pad. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll jump to Violet really quick. I do want to get a little bit through parts. Just super fast, super fast. <laughs> yeah. Um, Violet, queuing up, I'm very excited. I don't know why Violet wasn't included. That's a great question. Maybe they weren't well, all sitting together Violet, at once. Yeah, Violet couldn't get through the door. Um, it was stuck. Also, Janet, congratulations. More feet stuff. So. Oh, that's like someone's slipper. Going. That's not anything. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The bare feet. Are lost, I see. Yeah, yeah. You're not. You're not. No one's paying for that. Come on. See, um, no, I assume this cat's a dick because of those Siamese cats from. Is it Hunter One Dalmatians. Lady no, the Tramp? you're thinking of. I know Chad knows cat? it. It's called like Cats or something, isn't it? No, it's one of those movies. I don't want to sing the song because it's. It's, it's the exactly... racist cat, right? It's the no, racist no, no. cat. It's it's, it's called something else. I watched that movie with my cat on her birthday. Um, it's Lady in the Tramp. Yeah, yeah, it's Lady in the Tramp. No, it's not. Aristocats. Thank you. About? It's Aristocats. Thank you for for pointing that. It's Aristocats. Three thousand no, 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 percent. No, no, no. no, it's not. No, yes, it's it is. not. Yes, it is. I bet my you next bet, paycheck on it. You will bet that the We Are Siamese If You Please song is from the Aristocats. Yes. Absolutely not. Yes. I'll at least bet you $5 or <laughs> no, a, you a pizza or something. Paycheck. Nope. Sorry, Janet. Uh, Fine. No. Go ahead. It's, Are you actually okay. going to pay me out, though? Because don't, don't like. <laughs> that's the no, thing. No, we don't have to actually here, put here, any how money this, How about this? How about this, Ben? How about this? How about this? Because, yeah. you know, I'm with the Trek to Shrek. It's going to happen at some yeah. point. It's when, not if. <laughs> right. Whoever loses buys the other person a drink. Okay. That seems very fair. It seems a lot uh, less uh, intense than what I initially <laughs> initially pitched. Okay. For the record, I'm sure there's a Siamese cat in Aristocats. I don't doubt that. But the classic Siamese cat twins that sing that song <laughs> that is not exactly cool is from Lady in the Tramp. Why are you asking it me or telling me? I'm telling you, I'm I'm doing the cat research at Seinfeld.com, and they're saying the Siamese cat song is a Disney song. Arista so they cats have is... two separate racist Siamese cat songs, is what you're telling me. So you're there's saying there's a racist one in Aristocats as well. I'll look this up. Siamese cat song. Uh, someone mentioned that it is true that we are both talking about. We are both right um, because we both that both movies have what you are describing. <laughs> Weird, but it can't sing. It's not a yeah, song. Yeah, they sang. The yeah, they did cat. sing. And they sang a song about being Siamese. Yes. This well, is what I, I guess. No, I know what song this you're really talking about. Me. Okay, now I get what you're talking about. No, <laughs> okay. mine's a different song, but it is racist. They may or may not mention that they are Siamese and that. that okay. That's a good part of it. All right. But this, see, these lines are getting blurry. It is. The point is, there's a lot to unpack here with that. Why did you even bring this up, Ben? Why did you? <laughs> I'm trying to look at Stray, Janet. Please, this gameplay looks out of this world. So the cat fell, which is very sad. Um, and now Ooh, he, has, he has a little cat. limp. Oh, very sad. There's a little limp. See, and this is when my cat would give up. My cat would lie down, not get back up. Yeah. It'd be over. Maybe Bruce is secretly a fighter, though. Like, in some sort of post-apocalyptic scenario, you never know. Like, some... I mean, you've only seen <laughs> Bruce. You've never seen, you know, Catman. Or whatever is lying within him is his true form, you know? Within her, remember. Yeah, the weird, the, the gender flipped names. Um, flip yeah, I, I can't even handle the idea. Like, I couldn't have my cat be outdoors because also we have a lot of coyotes here. Yeah. And man, when you see those missing cat posters in the neighborhood, I'm like, I just know that cat is not going to be found. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? That's super sad. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's a weird thing, but it, like I guess growing up on like a farm esque place is like, well, we have a bunch of coyotes around, but we just trust our cats will be cool. They they know how to hide in the garage, and it, they turned out okay. Yeah, well, those uh, are like tough cat. I have like a yeah. like a city suburb cat. You know, it's like mm, right, red rat, little baby Bruce, cat. Bruce is used to the, the life of luxury, so. Um, now, Ian T. Clark asked the most pivotal question here, asking, "Do you have nine lives in this game?" No. There's a trophy, though, related to the nine lives stick. Okay, that's fun. You do not have nine lives. Do you think... I know this is a classy... Is this an artsy game, Janet? 
I mean, it's more artsy than like some other games might be in terms. Of, it depends on how you define artsy. Is artsy like triple you know, A whatever? You know, um, it's artsy in the like you wouldn't really see a triple A game that is like this typically. Yeah. But it's not. I don't think it's like. I've played a lot of weird stuff. This isn't that weird of an like idea. I think. Okay. It's well, it's well um, done. So it's just it's prestige, but I wouldn't say it's like. Okay. Prestige, but not artsy. That's probably a good way of putting it. Yeah. It's artsy, you, but it's not fartsy. I get it. Do you think term. that... By the way, dogs fart. Do cats fart? I don't... I've never heard my cat fart. I assume anything with a butt like that farts, but That's I've never heard question. my cat fart. Like, do, see, do fish fart? I don't think do, so. Does anything with a butt fart is my question. I don't know. Um, That's your next but, project for us, Ben. Okay. Thank you. Um... Yeah, but wouldn't it be kind of fun? I know this is, yeah, it's a it's a prestige game. But don't you think it'd be kind of funny if you just had an option for the UI in the menu so you could turn on just like a good novelty nine lives thing in the corner, just like Mario style, and it's just there the entire time? It'd be cute, th but it's not, that, it's not that much of a, it's not that you would, it's not a game where you die a lot, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm, okay. But there's not even a lot of chances to die. So what are you, you like, doing? Fail. You just explore. I mean, there is there is a level of like combat in in enemies at a certain point, um, without getting like too into spoilers or whatever. But hmm. um, yeah, like there, are, it's a lot. Like when you get to towns, it's a lot of just like puzzle solving and exploration. Like this is the first puzzle that uh, people may recognize from the marketing, where it's like you take the bucket, and you drop it into the fan, and you walk through the, the area knock some stuff off. They don't always have prompts like this for knocking things off, but sometimes they do. Hmm. Hey, I'm, I'm picking up some animal facts here. Do you want them? Yes. <laughs> uh, manatees use farts as a swimming technique. This is the West Indian manatee. It has pouches in its intestines where it can store fatty gases. When they have a lot of gas stored up, they're naturally more buoyant, floating to the surface of the water. When they fart out that gas, they sink. Unfortunately, that means that a manatee's ability to fart is vital to its well-being. There we go. When, it can, when a manatee is constipated and can't pass gas properly, it can lose the ability to swim properly and end up floating around with its tail above its head. Good lord. It's kind of scary. Oh. Whales fart, Janet. You can scratch the carpet. Also, they put adapt the adaptive triggers for the carpet scratch. Oh, okay. That's good. Feels unique? Yeah. I mean, it feels like it has that resistance to it um, that you would expect from, you know, when you dig your claws into something. Like, you know, there's a, the pulling. Like, have you ever seen a cat do that to all the furniture they're not supposed to touch? Yeah. It has that property. And then they don't have a knockdown for everything, but you can, like, collide into a lot of the objects. Like, I knocked over all those cans. That's cool. The game looks better than you'd think for a first time studio here. It looks amazing. It's like ridiculously oh. good looking. Um, I think especially like well, the thing I appreciate with like the presentation here is just how much thought and detail went into it. Like we have like the lighting here, the flicker um, Ben, I know you, can, you can't hear my game audio through discord, but yeah. the sound design of the, for right now. This is sound design, best sound design of the year for me. Really? Um, wow. Yeah, when I get to do little votes where they're like, what's the best sound design? And everyone's like, oh, what have I heard this year? <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's brilliant. I think even if you don't love the game, like the sound design is superb. Um, like it's it's kind of ridiculous. That looked cute. This, this looks very cute. I mean, there's not too many games where you can play as a cat. Uh, there are a lot, but not a lot of games based around being a cat, though, specifically. Yeah, it's like Bubsy or something. Yeah, Games uh, yeah, Bubsy is a cat. A catalateral damage is the only game that comes to mind for me, where you are literally playing as a cat, and the game is designed around being a cat. Mm. Everything else is like you happen to be a cat. Like Bubbles the cat, like that could have been a dog, you know. Cats yeah. are liquid. I guess cats are liquid is kind of fun because it's playing with the idea of cats being a liquid. So cats are liquid is the name of a game. I've never yeah, heard of it. Yeah, it's really good. Um, it's on. I played it on itch.io. Hey, we some okay. We got a, got another sub here, so let's go ahead yeah. and. Check out some more cats real quick. Um, but yeah, it's, a, it's like a funky indie platformer that's actually like really good. Um, huh. so, yeah, cats are liquid. And the whole premise is that like you're this little like kind of ball type cat and you can kind of take these different forms because have you heard of the theory that cats are liquid before? Um, no, but I think I get it. Yeah, they, 
there you go, right? Okay, this is um, from Clemens, and this is Pibs. Oh, look at so Pibs. So Pibs is an outdoor cat. I like this. I like this cat. This cat I could hang with. This is my kind of cat. It comes by. You can feed it some food every once in a while, but it's just out mousing, you know? Pibs is out, like, living life. Like, I also yeah. like a good action shot, again, with, like, a little tongue out. Very cute. Yeah. But yeah, Pibs is also what I picture, I think, when I picture an outdoor cat. I don't know if that, I don't know my breeds very well, so I don't know what breed Pibs is. Um, but the little, like, cats with the little stripes, I feel like a lot of them yep. are out there, outdoors, hanging out. Have you ever seen the um, the GoPro footage of a cat? No. When people attach a GoPro. Oh, you should look it up. You can, like, attach a GoPro to a cat, and like, an outdoor cat, and you'll see it's kind of like a better version. Um, Hellbringer, thank you for the sub as well. It's kind of like a better version of... Remember in What Remains of Edith Finch when you were a cat, but the platforming was really bad. Um, mm -hmm. It's like that, but you just see the cat do like wild stuff, jump like 80 feet in the air, like oh running and being, it's it's very entertaining if you've never looked up that kind that of footage. Good. That sounds like something that'd be fun just to have on the background at a party or something, just oh, yeah. on the TV. Oh my gosh, Grizzled Gaming with the cat Bootsy, Bootsy. another sub in it. We got a hype train Bootsy. going. Um, shout out to that. Uh, we got, so this is Bootsy. From Grizzled Gaming. By the way, your notifications on Twitch are huge, Janet. <laughs> I don't know if you want to. Yeah, that that, that might be like. that might be true. I can make them smaller. They are really big. <laughs> Grizzled Gaming, Bootsy. No reason. I, now, what's going on with that fence? Is there a hole in the fence, and Bootsy is putting its paw through, or is that just a knot in the wood that looks that's just, like a? <laughs> that's just a knot in the wood that looks like a paw. Oh, okay. Okay. But this is definitely giving um you know some home improvement energy here for those of us. Right. A, of a certain age or who maybe didn't have cable. I don't know the home improvement target out. Cause I, people assume, like I was talking to Greg the other day and he's like home improvement. You probably don't watch the show cause you're not 80 years old. And I'm like, I definitely watched that show. And in the final yeah. season, you see the guy's face. I think, I don't remember if that actually happened or you want to see the well, guy's face. I don't know if you did see the guy's face, but yeah, I anyway. Forget. I remember they had like a live, I don't know what the hell it was and why I was on TV, but it was like some at like a theater. And it was like the cast of home improvement coming out and just like doing a Q and A. I was pretty into home improvement lore as a kid. And I remember uh, when Wilson came out, um, he came out and I was so excited to see his face, but he, he tricked everybody where he came out and he had like a little fake fence that he held in front of his face during the entire Q and A. He's like, damn it, you got us again. Um, you should try to, I feel like it'd be too easy for our community because our community is full of like savants who have right. insane depth of knowledge of games, but a home improvement type like character th like i feel like there's something there with the fence i don't know what you can do with that though what people wouldn't where you put it in front of like a character's face or something but i think people would know from the the forehead too easily oh something. yeah yeah so you're saying for like trivia tower put yeah. like everybody has the home improvement fence and then you have to guess the character yeah but i think it'd be too easy yeah. for them is the thing i think you're right because I mean, we do it we we haven't done the category for a while maybe that's a reminder that we should but we have the one where it's just the character's eyes and so that's yes. even harder, and people already get that one. It's like, so. I, I see now, or something. Also, um, shout out to someone who subbed a few minutes ago, added the message, you gotta be kidding me. I appreciate that's that. That's really good. Um, like famous Bob Yule has Bosco, Bosco, Bosco. Ben, you, yeah, you, you get it, right? I want, that has to be a reference mm -hmm. to Seinfeld. Oh. Or do you think they just like Bosco? I think it's probably a Seinfeld thing. Uh, piercing eyes i feel uncomfortable in the presence of this cat it's, i like that the cat's in bed with the blanket on it i too yeah, tuck in my cute. cat on the like my cat's on the sofa a lot and we have like blankets there and yeah. sometimes like if she she also she, she's very easily like agitated so you kind of gotta like know what you can get away with and what you can't so i'll put the little blanket yeah. on her sometimes and it's funny because like one time i did that like at night and i like went to bed and isaiah came by and he's like did you tuck Bruce in on the sofa? I'm like, yeah. She doesn't have thumbs, so she can't do that herself. It's yeah. cute. It's cute. It's a fine cat. I gotta say, look, Bob, not my favorite. Not my favorite cat of the bunch. <gasps> How dare you? We, every we cat is a good cat. cat. You're right. We could have done like a House Hunter Rise uh, poll for every cat so people could determine which is the cat. But uh, you know what? Maybe, maybe you're right, Jenny. Maybe every cat is a great cat. Every cat, cat is a good cat. Um, right. Yeah, everyone. Yeah, chat. Please continue to drag Ben Hansen. You heard it here for <laughs> Ben hates cat. That's Bosco. Exactly. I like some of these cats. I like some of these cats. I like some of the cats a lot. Just that one's eyes. They're not doing it for me. They're, Every cat has something to add mean. here. A lot of cats oh, are a little mean. 
Um, yeah, but that's that's what's. Layout. Janet, we're getting Wilson oh, by the yeah. layout here. Oh, okay, hold on. Yeah, we're getting home improvement by this layout. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it continues to. Um, it just stops sharing my screen after a while. It's probably going to sleep. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a fan of cuteness. I'm into like lions and tigers, y'all. Like bears. I grew up a while ago. Yeah, and bears and Dorothy's. Um. Oh. Okay. Oh, now you're like really, really short. But yeah. All Got right. It. Um. Cool. We're. Let's see how many. We don't have two. Oh, we have a. Oh my God. Why are there so many? <laughs> Should we just knock some of these out, Ben? Why yeah, did you give me? Let's I have it. one hour to look at eighty cats and play some level of this game. Okay. We're gonna. We're gonna look through some of these cats, yeah. and then yep. I'm gonna try to go quickly through this game because I know where everything is. So. Okay. okay Marty. Perfect. Um, definitely not. We're not getting the two hour trophy on this run, y'all. Spoilers. Um, Marty520 has Charlie. Yeah, I regret okay, the time I spent on all these cats. It's been too much. I, okay. Cat oh, in Charlie a bag. Cute. Cute. Or in a, in like a jacket. This is a good shot. Yeah. That's a good kitty. They're playing um, with angles here. It's nice. Now, what do you make of the giant fur concoction on the left here? It do seems you think like that's a, a giant cat. No, no, but I wish that'd be great. That's probably like a little like a like a throw kind of like a decorative blanket or something like a one of those little fuzzy rug? things. Okay, all right. Well, I hope Charlie gets to play with it. And I hope Charlie never leaves that shirt either. Beautiful. Yeah, that's real Beautiful good. Cat. We got uh, from the same person, uh, Nico, in a basket. Look at him yeah. In the basket. These cats get around the house. These cats are having fun, man. I bad of the bone. also am like a really big fan of black cats. Like I think if yeah. we get another cat, you know, when Bruce goes to the big, the great gig in the sky, because then I'd like another cat or a dog. I've never had a dog before. I think that could be fun, but a lot of work. So I don't know if I want to do all that. Um, yeah. Black cats are really cool. I heard one of my friends once told me that at shelters, though, you can't adopt a black cat like when it's too close to Halloween because people, the shelter people are worried that people would do like mess up stuff with it or just want it for the vibes and they're not going to take care of it. Oh, so, weird. so they don't allow. That's what I heard. Maybe it's just like, oh, that's not true or it's varies per place. But yeah, um, but yeah, black cats are cool because like a lot of their features just kind of blend together. Um, so their eyes are really distinct. Uh, and I like that. I do like black cats. You're right. They're, they're classy. They're all beautiful. We got the Smacks Bruno. Oh, we don't oh man, that. what a good photo. That's good. That's good. Do you think hey, it's kind of like a hermit? Do you think they yeah. put this in there for you? Oh, I hope so. Yeah. Win you over. <laughs> Everything that I drink. I think this, uh, Bruno, it's a little bit like a hermit crab, I think. You know, like, do you think it just finds different things and kind of wears it around like a little suit? Yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely. And this is like, my cat loves, I mean, every cat loves boxes. Yeah, if, I, if it fits, I sit. It's like... <laughs> um yeah my cat like is always getting into different ones and it's funny because she'll try to get into spaces that she clearly like doesn't fit in at all but she's like this feels great love it here yeah um, but it. if you buy a box for her or buy a thing for no mm, this is trash right right very frustrating yeah, well yeah it's got to explore it i i hear you moon garbage you're saying this is precarious it is kind of a stressful picture because i don't want that cat to fall face first on the floor in that box i think the cat knows what it's doing we got abrac Whose cat's name is Sexy Beast? I don't know how I feel about that. Is Not this just gonna be fun? Okay. What? This is man. This is a dog. Get out of here. This Boo! is a dog. Blocked. Save Locked. it for love dogs. That's our spinoff show. Get out of here, Come you monster. Come on now. Come Jeez. on here. Jeez. Let's get get that out of here. Also, someone asked, is there any dogs in the stray? There are not. The smack has Zippy Doo. All right. Thank you for understanding the assignment. This is Zippy. This is a good. This is a good cat. I like this cat a lot. Like that gray stripe. But it, it looks it looks kind of like a lynx. It's a really beautiful one. This is a winner. This now is a that winner, I've learned how winner. to zoom in, it's over for y'all. There we go. <laughs> um, also, let me Purple. see if I can open this gameplay so it doesn't keep closing. Every Purple pig says the cat looks like it's reacting to the dog pick. <laughs> oh. uh, we got Drew Wariness, who has Miss Vana or Vanya? Vana? Mm, right? in Vana White. Miss and, Magic. And Miss Magic. Interesting. I like the Miss angle for their cat. Okay, this one I'm going to allow because there is a, the, the cat is prominently featured. Okay. And I like And I like the fact that they're friends. Are they friends? It looks like Miss uh, Vana there is about to take a big old bite out of Miss Magic. I think they're queuing up to have a good afternoon together. Like, you okay. know what I mean? 
They're yeah. they're pals. So watching over and this then the cat's just kind of derping around there. Plus, what makes me like these two as a as a wacky wacky pack, uh, pack animals is it, it like it looks like it's a photo of like a printed photo. So yeah. it makes me think that it's old and maybe yeah. they're like his childhood pets, you know? Yeah, yeah. This definitely it has a, there's a whole vibe here with a little like glare. Yeah. It's a very artsy uh, photo of this cat. Right. Right. Um, so Ben, what's what's in here? What's going on with this? Uh, so I went to Google Photos and I searched cat to see if I had pictures of my old cats. Uh -huh. And this is what came up, and it's from a trip to Japan with Surreal. But uh, we need the audio as well for this. Um, this yeah, that, I think the audio is playing. It. Yeah, the audio is playing. Okay. Great. Um, so these are all my cats. I've wanted to get one of those little like cat licking things for Bruce, but I haven't yet. Well, may I recommend Chow from Japan? There's a reflection of Surreal in Ice Uh Janet, I'm sorry, that was a minute long, uh, and I believe you cut it off. Oh, really? Is it longer? What uh, happens Janet, after that? Uh, more than you could possibly imagine. Okay, now I'm scared. I need to stop not previewing these things before I play them. No, 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 it's better to be surprised. I assume um, that when it was like a cut to y'all that you were, it was done. No, 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 it was just getting warmed up. Uh, Rich says, what game was this the trip for? Uh, Dragon Ball Fighters? Also, why are we doing the same pose right now? Like, <laughs> like when you're looking at cat commercials from Japan, uh, Oh my god, that cat's so pose. good. I love that kind of cat, because it's like a chonkier, it's like a, a wider Bruce. Yeah. Oh my god, look at them all. They're all so fat. Look at the good chonks. Oh, There's yeah. something else I caught Bruce, <laughs> chonky girl. She's got a little, like, nice little stomach pouch that just hangs <laughs> from her. What are these silly cats? This is cats really the are so good. I love cats. I, ah. I recommend everybody take a trip to Japan just so they can see this commercial playing at a store on loop. <laughs> I'm glad I cut back to this. This is really good, actually. Yeah. I mean, if you want a variety of cats, this is it. This is as good as we're going to get. Oh, my God. That one's crazed. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is another big thing too. Every time, almost every time I write like a review, if I'm doing it at the kitchen table, um, Bruce yeah. will jump up on my lap and rub her face on the corner of my laptop. That's cute. Yeah, it's fun. Um, it's it's a it's a good time. All right, we got tr we gotta, I gotta go through a couple more of these because there's just so many. Trey Meeper piloting the Meowlium Falcon. Okay, you're you're hyping it up a lot here with this oh, editorialization. Meeper. Meeper, that's a good name for a cat. Really oh yeah awesome. here we go very good very good this is nice i've heard of the kessel run but the Kessel run nah. yeah only in what is it 12 is it 12 part six i don't know man. Yeah. hey everybody let's come up with cat star wars puns together um kyle cat tarn is a star wars character oh uh someone in chat said uh, is my camera mirrored i'm usually facing the other way in a podcast it is um i mirror it because usually i have chat on this side where the camera is and the gameplay mm -hmm. is on this side and i hate 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 more than anything when a streamer is not facing the gameplay yeah. screen yeah, i hear you it is I hear awful you. um sometimes yep. too like when i'm when i because i can't flip i can only flip through like in video or something so like i'm not always yeah. flipped on discord with the layout um I hate when I'm not faced right when we have a multi thing. So I'll like actually just sit really uncomfortably just to, to not look like that because it's awful. Janet, I've never been more stressed out in my life because there's so many good <laughs> jokes that people okay. are throwing out there. We Go have Cat Fisto from Colep, Revenge of the Hiss from Asian Perk, um, Millennium Fal Cat says Star Killer Sure, Emperor Palpatine says Hey Yo Hi, Procyon number six says I love you, I meow. Um, okay, Crowboy says I did the Kessel wrong and Kessel Run in 12 per sex. We'll count it. We'll count it. Fantastic work, everybody. Lando, Cat, Rissian. That's um, a good one. Nah, there could be better. There could be better. Um, all right, keep them coming, everybody. The cat like prequels? It. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have anything here. Um, okay, what do we got? <laughs> we got... Cat prequels? I know. I don't have much. There's... Y'all have a lot of cats. Okay. The show should have just been just the cats. I don't even know why I opened no, the game. No, um, no, we needed the game. We needed the hook. Spiral in your eyes uh, has Kiki. Kiki, do you love me? I like that the cat. The, it it is so weird when you see a cat stand, but yeah. I love. I think it is so cool. I wonder how often this cat Kiki. stands up like this. 
Little Kiki never been to Times Square. Uh, yeah, I hope that the cat never goes on all fours. I hope that's just a default. Oh, no, I don't. That's scary. That's very, um, the Monster Hunter cats, are they always on two feet because they're cooking and stuff? Ooh, I don't know if when they're running, they're on four feet. But we have an important update. Um, Mr. Button 23 says Jar Jar Sphinx, which we will, we will count. Rich Bad at Games says M Mew Baka. Uh, we got Voodoo or Vuance says Lando Calicorician. That's also solid. We'll take it. We'll take it. Um, oh, uh, hey, oh, hi. It says Obean One Kenobians. Is it a type of cat? I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. know. Like, people always ask me, like, what kind of cat is Bruce? I'm like, I don't know. She's right. gray. Like, I don't know. But right, just, right. Like, Isaiah just picked one that I think seemed like. They were kind of friendly and that he like vibed with when he went there yeah. um that's like he wasn't i mean you don't really go to a shelter if you want a certain breed either i don't think you know it's kind of just yeah. the cats that are there um forest with two r's uh has shaush anna or anna and while a... it's booting up a crow boy it has an important interjection again that just they need us to know pa dameron and we see that crow boy and we appreciate it Oh this my is God. quite the action shot here. This is the intensity I can't even fathom. Clean, Oof. nice, clean teeth. That's not easy to keep your your cat's uh, teeth nice and nice and healthy. Yeah, Shaush Anna. Wow. And then another 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 bleep. Oh, yeah, cute. That's the same cat. Yeah. Get you a cat who can do both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the same cat. I like it. I like yeah. it. That seems like a fine cat. Um, I'm scared of its teeth. Other than it's, that, it's, it's great. tough to get those action shots too, because there's been so many times where I'm like, "Oh man, I'm looking at my cat. I'm like, I want a picture of this." But to really like be able to like make it happen before they notice that. Also, I think my cat knows when she's being recorded. Mm. Um, but that's just that's just, just me. To torture you so they're gonna make it like as mm -hmm. unappealing of a photo as possible. This weirds okay. me out because they're wearing <laughs> the boxers, and here's here's where my <laughs> concern comes in. Yeah. Did you put you put these little pants on this guy? Or did yeah. they get into the pants? If they got into the pants, hilarious. It's great. Yeah, I don't think that's what's happening. If I think you this put cat's them, being dressed up. If you put them on, I don't know how I feel about that. Yep. Mostly because it's uh, underwear. If it was another costume, that's fine. It's a little it's a yeah. little lot. This is Echo, by the way. Uh, by the way, we, we pulled all these from the MinMax Discord. Folks submitted them over there if you're curious where these are all coming from. Um, yeah, I like it in theory, but... Imagining the pre and post of this photo takes takes me out of the illusion, you know? Yeah, I can understand that. Uh, yeah. Why would you want them to just be naked, says Moon Garbage? Um, that's why I put a <laughs> collar on my cat. Because, like, okay, now she's clothed. <laughs> right, um, right. Okay, we got Shazira. Uh, oh. We got Maya. A, te a, a tentative first meeting. Some editorialization there's gonna there. There's going to be a dog in this photo. Yeah, there was a good yeah. collar. There's a dog. All right. But they're friends. That is cute. I like... Th Look, that's impressive that the dog isn't even paying attention. I like to the, the, cat. the glow in the cat's eyes. Yeah. Also, I like that, you know, both of them aren't paying attention to the nuclear warhead that seems to be poking out from underneath that blanket. But uh, Shazira says that Kitty lived with another doggo that traumatized it, so that was a real trust building exercise. Oh, thanks for the backstory there. Uh, the, you're really the... uh, decked out here, Shazira, with the, the pet like toys and things. I just struggle to find something that my cat will actually use. So that's why like I haven't bought, like I really want to get like a cat tree. I also would love yeah. my cat to move a little bit more. I was watching that Netflix show that's, uh, uh, so we got also Aaron T. First up is Cleo. Uh, there's a Netflix show. It's like the secret lives of pets or something where they like talk about yeah. like cool things these animals can do. And they're like, to get your cat to be smarter, they got to like be moving more, like get animals to be smart. They have to move more. And I looked over at my like, yeah dead cat just laying there like i'm like oh man bruce must be so dumb <laughs> like i need to work i need to like hang out with her more so she can like move around um but yeah this is cleo Cleb. Again. Cleb? Cleb. Cleb. oh it's Cleb. Cleb oh that's a very good name for that cat i like Cleb a lot oh it's cleo it is cleo the, oh it is cleo oh, uh, the, cursor the cursor was lined up <laughs> just perfectly i but i know this cat intimately and my affectionate nickname for the cat is Cleb. So I'm gonna just yeah. with them. None of these names. Cleo's are cute. Real. Cleo's cute. Yeah, I like Nessie. it. Oh, a, oh the big stretch. <laughs> Is it stretch? Maybe it just sleeps like that. 
<laughs> That'd be... This reminds me of, like, um, the other day, like, my boyfriend had tweeted out, like, lying, like, across the bed hits different. Like, when you're not, like, there's, like, how yeah. you sleep. Yeah. Um, so maybe this is, like, what the cat's doing. You know what I mean? The cat version of lying across the bed. I think so. Yeah, it's really, it's a power move. It's showing you're the master of your own domain. King of the castle. Hmm. I couldn't remember that... the third one for Seinfeld, so I was like, ah. I don't remember what it is either. Master Maybe there isn't a third one. There's got to be. I'll look it up. Yeah. We got to stay sharp for the uh, trivia that we probably will never do. But <laughs> Hey, it lost neutral plus poll once. I'm um, willing for it to lose again. Um, Dylan Kelly has my 13-year-old cat, Gizmo, posing. King of the castle, Lord of the Manor. Ah, that... yeah, Lord of the Manor. There we go. This cat is an outdoor cat who's been outdoors for a while. <laughs> yeah, I like this cat. It's got an intensity about it. It's a type of cat you don't want to mess with. If you say the wrong thing, this cat could rip your head off. It looks like Lynx from uh, Chrono Cross. That's maybe oh, it says our like. audio is out of sync. To How should I address that? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I can fix it in post if it's really that obnoxious. Yeah. Oh, it seems fine. Oh, it also seems fine, so we'll see. I don't know. Could go either way. Pick the story that you want to have happen. Okay. Uh, we got... Okay, so that was I Dylan like that Kelly. Cat. That's a good cat, Dylan. Hunter Blessing, Mr. Cat is the name of this cat. Great name for a cat. Great name for a oh, cat. I like the flowers. Yeah. Yeah, this is nice. Also, I like just knowing the range that this cat might have. Like, if it wants to, it can maybe go run around and find some mice and stuff in the woods. Now, that's good, good cat living. That looks great. I also like that this cat... Looks kind of like my cat. I get a big kick out of seeing cats that look like Bruce. Really? Even though it's like, it's a lot of cats because she's just a cat. <laughs> but I'm like, whoa, this cat. Like, I'll show like people in my family. I'm like, look, this cat looks just like Bruce. And they're like, it really does. Do you get excited when you see a person that looks like you? A little bit, yeah. I, there's oh. um, a woman I went to college with who looks um, very close to me, almost just like me. It's kind of weird. I've shown her to my boyfriend before, and he's like, that is horrifying to see. Um, and it's funny, because like I also know like her now husband. And I'm like, that's Ooh. like weird. You know what I mean? Like It's like, you know what I mean? Like It's a little weird. But I don't yeah. know if he's ever thought the fact that she looks like me, but I've never asked him. It's kind of a weird question. Well, you should Surely reach out to him. No. Lean into how weird that could possibly be. I'm like, hey, have you ever thought about, I'm like, you know, what's up? John, how's it going? <laughs> have you ever thought about how you and, and you, how me and your wife look exactly the same? Um, this is, <laughs> this is. Leave it at that. Um, you know, in the wrong context, that conversation could go real bad ways. Uh, Moon Garbage's cat. It's the cat that lives behind the duplex. I call, I call her, her Queen, Queenie. Queenie. That's, that's good. That's I a good like name for cat. a cat. Oh yeah. man, there were um, in my neighborhood. They had some. One of my neighbors has some outdoor cats, and um, they like came up to us and like 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 nestled up to us a little bit. And then when we were leaving, they followed us for a little while, not too far. Like you would tell, they kind of knew maybe not to go like crazy far from the house. Um, yeah. But that was a good day, and they were very soft. You know what I like about this queenie cat? I like that it's like it's not one of those fat cats you hear about so much in Congress, but it's kind of like. It's got a couple extra pounds, but it's wearing them well. Like it's a cool looking kind of just slightly thicker cat. You Have know? you seen the um, the cat like scale for like chonkiness? No. Um, I don't want to Google it because I just don't know what's gonna come up. But it's like, it's uh, let me just try to Google it on my on my phone. But or you you could look it up. Look up cat chonk scale, and I'm sure it'll it'll come up. That's actually my homepage for Chrome. Um, okay, yeah, chonk chart. The chonk um, chunk, yeah. Can you go from, from low chunk to high chunk what the chunks are? As I pull I up Mr. Buttons' is CC, or maybe it's reverse, maybe your CC and their Mr. Buttons. I'd hope so, but I don't want to assume. Why is he so sad? Oh, after first grooming. That's hilarious. Look oh, at this sad baby. That, I think that's baby Yoda. No, it's so sad. <laughs> that's amazing. I'm going to take my cat to get groomed really soon because she has not, I don't even know if she's ever properly been groomed. Like, you know, we keep up with her health stuff, but... She needs to be, like, taken care of and bathed. I mean, we bathe her, but we don't haven't, like, groomed her up. I think this is what she's going to look like afterwards. Okay, so it's here's sad, the chonk chart. Mm -hmm. it's, it goes from a fine boy mm -hmm. to he chonk, then a honkin' chonker, uh -huh. then hefty chonk, mega chonker, and then a lot he coming. 
yeah, is yeah. The, is the final so I think I forget what Bruce is for. I think Bruce is like uh, definitely like maybe like t two or three from the bottom. She's not that fat, but she's a little fat. Right. You know what? We got Martin Glowacki's cats. We have Knight. Ooh, Knight's a cool name for a cat. Will it live up to it? Ooh, yeah. This is a very that's... chocolate peanut butter cat. I know. I want to eat that cat right? alive. <laughs> that's a cool looking cat. I like this oh. cat a lot. Yeah. Just the patterns. Like, you can look at that all day. What also, a... it's like kind of a photo backdrop. No, that's what I was that's thinking. Just... It's a very, like, um, editorial it's shot. This is, it's giving, I just got my first, like, good camera, and I want to take some right. pictures. Let's set up this cat. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, then we got Schnitzel. Cute name. Oh my god, is this a different cat? So you have two cats that are the same, and they like siblings. But they, you can tell, it's really like an Ernie and Bert situation. They look like they have wildly different personalities. What is the personality of this cat, do you think? Uh, this cat's, it's got a sense of humor. It's a little, it's a, it's a easily startled. Oh, uh, um, Martin, the chat says, silly. that's exactly right, they're sisters. Can you oh. tell us, if you have a second, what the personality breakdown is here? Slash, yeah, how, you, how do you tell them apart? They do look different, so I'm sure it's not that hard to tell them apart. But what was what is the your go-to for knowing which one's which? Yeah. Oh, man. Good good personality in them cats there. It's a good set of cats. Good we set of cats. Nick from Atlanta. Buzzsaw. This is my sister's cat who passed away last year. Buzzsaw. That's a really good name for a cat. Just this metal oh gosh. ass Gosh, and the cat's with a baby. Oh, very cute. Very cute. I mean, the cat does not look pleased about it, but <laughs> just a thousand yard cat stare. Cats never, <laughs> like, at least my cat, like, when I hug my cat, she doesn't really seem like she enjoys it. The thing my yeah. cat really enjoys is being scratched. Scritches. That's kind of it. And yeah. like my cat's greedy with it too, because you'll scratch her, and then while you're scratching her, she'll like rub her face on something. And I'm like, is this not enough for you? She's like, in it to win it. Um, like I'll have her on my lap here, like at my desk, and she'll like rub her face on like the arm. Like I have those gamer armchair rests. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I, I, sometimes Bruce lets me hug her, but she's she doesn't like it the way like you know she's not a human, so I don't right. think she really. That's not her her play her time to shine. We got Toby. With Shadow. With Shadow. Maybe a Final Fantasy VI reference. Let's see. Oh, cute. Cute. Looks like a bunny. Other than that, very cute. Um, I like the I like a good blink from a cat. A good eyes closed. Very cute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, by that the way, was Stray. It, <laughs> I love Stray. By the way, I, there's a bunch of other games where you play as a cat that I completely forgot about. Gato Roboto, obviously. Yep. Night in the Woods, technically a cat. Ah, Rain World. You you're such a Rain human World. cat, though. But yes, you are yeah, a cat. It barely counts. But yeah, uh, Rain World was a big one. And who could forget, of course, Gravity Rush, where you play as a cat. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of other ones, too, that I'm just not thinking of. Cat Quest, of course. Cat Quest. Um... So in your offic official... Um, Smart opinion. Stray, the greatest cat game ever made? I think so. I think so. I, I, don't, I don't think I can think of another one that comes close even. But let me know if there's one I should check out. Uh, specifically in terms of like being a cat. Because there's a lot of great games where you are a cat. Like Cat Quest. And Cat Quest does have like some cat flavor to it. You know? But it's yeah. not like you could... Like the big thing that... Uh, me and my family talked about like once I, I finished it, I was working on the review I was talking about my thoughts in the game and when somebody in the house mentioned like could you do this game with another animal or a person or a different creature and the answer is very clearly no the only way yeah. you could do it with something else is if you gave like a fake creature the characteristics of a cat because it's so specific right. to how a cat is oozing neon also mentions catalateral damage yes I did shut that one out and that one is cool it is definitely um it's a little, because of how the physics are in the first person, it is a little bit nauseatingly chaotic in the movement. Uh, I mean, I yeah. like it, and I had fun with it, but it is limited to just the destruction angle. I feel like this hits a lot of the marks of what it means to be a cat, while catalateral damage is focused on the damage aspect of the cat life. Um, but yeah, I could talk about this for a long time, but this is all the time we have. 
That's today. right. Uh, who is it? Somebody said, yeah, Rich Bad at Games says, thank God the embargo is up for Stray. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able, wouldn't have been able to stream this. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's true. That is true. I mean, we we really dove into Stray, uh, but hey, two thumbs up for Stray. We'll talk more about it on the Minmax Show podcast. Uh, thank you to everybody who sent in the wonderful cats over there in the Discord. Greatly appreciate it, Janet. Thanks for showing off the game. Yeah, of course. Uh, and then as we close out, I did want to show out a Chrome extension I have called Tabby Cat, where every time I open the tab, it's a new cat with that's a different good. name and different that's accessories. Awesome. We got glittery bubbles. We got prickly bubbles. We got caramel meep, and tipsy stomper got a little smurr on there so I if you like it. cats that could be a, a, a fun way to to enjoy cats um but yeah this game this game's cool go check it out again it's on um playstation plus the extra tier so it is one step up from base ps plus um right. but if you're interested that's a great way to check it out at an affordable cost um and i'm sure we'll talk you know like ben said more about the game in the week to come and maybe maybe later i don't know how much will people will like it we'll see if it makes an appearance on the two tens or not um but yeah this has been a new show plus thank you for joining thank you for sharing your cat photos um ben do you have anyone in mind for a raid oh i, I just wanted to point out before we raid on twitch sure. that we can keep love cats going as a show forever people support us at this ten dollar tier on patreon and that vote for true. it to continue and leo wasn't able to join this week but next week I mean, I think just a show where we just like, yeah, strap a GoPro to Leo's cats or just Leo follows his cats around the room. I think that would also be, look, we're very loose with these show ideas here for New Show Plus. So we just have to stick to the name Love Cats. Is there so a dog get, option? I think we could eventually expand it. You know, it could be Love possible. Pets. Yep. We could have cats dogs. dogs. Yeah. Uh, Kelsey loves birds. We could bring her in for oh. some bird. But some that's bird like, life. that's real spinoff territory. That's if like, you know, we're. We're going on season five. Of, well, of I, yet. you know, you gotta, if you, if you stay ready, you don't gotta get ready, Ben. You know what I mean? Right. Like Videos like this are possible because MinMax is a completely independent outlet for games supported solely by the community. The only reason we don't have to create condescending clickbait is because folks like you click on the subscribe button or check out the benefits over on patreon.com slash MinMax with two N's. We think that we're the most efficient gaming outlet out there. So please take a look at what we've done and imagine what more we can do with your support.